Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a better class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said! Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes. What the hell happened in there? They jumped us. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls and, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, but were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oi, look, there they are. Quick, get after them! Are you crazy? We can't just leave her! Max, you're gonna do something! Come on! Get the rifle back there!
the fuck are you waiting for? Stay on! Don't worry, I see her! Pull her! How did they know we were gonna be here? It doesn't take a genius! I've always had to club on a goose egg! She's headed for the roof! We gotta get around this thing! How is this getting around it? I am ill team! Oh look! Look! There she is there! Goddamn army of these goons. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco's security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Ah! Mm. 
odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation. It was Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? I had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Raul! Raul! What are you doing? Giovanna! <coughs> hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. As much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. It's probably that street gang trying to get at me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just right. want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa. Easy, pal, easy. Vem. Someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullet 
bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Man. At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Keep going, you got this! The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on, I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Come on! Don't give up on me now, bro! Ah. Hold on! Wait here a second! Oh, not a problem. Uh. <clears throat> Missed all the fun. <laughs> you see there, Grandpa. Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. <sighs> anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. <sighs> so what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such a good shape. Come on, come on.
What am I, the button pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? You should have known this wouldn't end well. Ah, didn't begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. How's he going? What we got here? Does he have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta. Quem aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os franco atiradores? Mas... Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta. Trouxemos o dinheiro! Trouxemos o dinheiro! Não que eu não sei! Oh, shit. Heads up! Here comes the Franco Atiradores! Heads up! Here comes his friends! Tells me we're heading in the right direction. Straight on here, I'll cover you. It suddenly hit me that this bloodbath was probably being recorded in HD. The Galatians would be making more than the sports pages tomorrow morning. Son of a bitch! Four. Looking forward to getting out of this shithole. Let's go, Max. It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. They seem nice enough. Were they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. Come on, they're going after the cash. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega!
Last rights, don't you think? Look at this flak jacket. This is high-end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. I might have written the book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it.